Hey hey guys, Adam here with another Battle of the Grass video. In this video we shall leave the piston engines behind and explore the performance differences for the four most common starter jets, which are the FEDA, the Meter Mark III, the ME262, and the Kika. Armed with this knowledge, you'll be able to judge which aircraft can outrun, outclimb, or outturn you and make the appropriate in-game decisions. Without further ado, let's get started! We'll be comparing the starter jets in the five following metrics. Speed, climb, turn, roll, and maneuvering energy retention. Armament is mostly a matter of preference. All these jets have sufficient armament. All aircraft are tested with full ammo and 20 minutes of fuel. For aircraft that can go over 100% throttle, I'm limiting the throttle settings so that the engine doesn't overheat in the short term. For example, I'm limiting the meter throttle to 106% and the Kika to 104% for all the tests. I don't know that much about early jets, so some of the test results did surprise me. Let's start with top speed. As usual, I stay a long time at a given altitude to record an accurate top speed value. Testing the top speed of jets actually takes longer than for props, for reason I won't get into in this video. On this graph of speed as a function of altitude, the top speeds of all four aircraft are plotted at every kilometer of altitude from sea level to 6 kilometers. As you can see, top speed for early jets doesn't change much with altitude. The biggest change in speed concerns the ME262, which goes from nearly 840 km/h at sea level to nearly 880 km/h at 5 km, and that's only a 40 km/h change. Below 3 km, the F80 is the fastest, followed by the Kika the 262, and the meter in last place. Above 3 km, the ME262 overtakes the Kika and the F80 to become the fastest at high altitude. Low altitude speed is more important than high altitude for jets, so my top speed ranking is the following. F80, Kika, ME262, meteor. Next up is climb. The relevant flight model coefficients were taken from the War Thunder flight model data files, and the accurate weight comes from the War Thunder flight properties. Then, with a bit of test flying to get the thrust as a function of speed curve for every aircraft, a simulation was coded to find the rate of climb as a function of speed. The graph you see here is the result of the simulation for the rate of climb as a function of speed at sea level. This graph gives the optimal climb speed for these aircraft and shows which aircraft has the best rate of climb. The Kika climbs significantly better than its competition, followed by the F-80, the Meteor, and then the ME-262. For jets, the aircraft that climbs better at sea level will keep that climb advantage at all relevant altitudes, because they will have a similar thrust loss as a function of altitude. For props, the different supercharger gearing and setup changes the relative power output as altitude increases, which changes relative climb rates. For turn, the sustained turn radius and turn times were tested, as well as the high speed turn radius at 700 km per hour. Here are the results for the sustained turn. The graph on the left shows that the meter turns the tightest by a significant margin, even out turning most of the props it faces. The F80 turns the second tightest, followed by the ME262 and then the Kika with its thick turn radius. The graph on the right shows the sustained turn time, and they follow the same trend as the turn radius, except for the Kika which compensates for its thick turn with a high thrust to weight ratio, thereby going around the turn circle at a higher speed. Still, the Kika's turn radius remains too wide, so the ranking for the turn is as follows. Meteor, F80, ME262, Kika. At 700 kms per hour, the meter's turn worsens the most, but still keeps the advantage, while the ME262 turns a tad tighter than the F80. As for roll, roll rate was tested at 400, 550, and 700 kms per hour IS at 100 meters of altitude. Here are the results. The Kika is the best rolling aircraft for most of the relevant speed range, followed by the F80, the ME262, and then the meter. Last but not least, maneuvering energy retention. For those familiar with MER, I'm using a similar methodology to test jet MER, but with a starting speed of 700 km per hour instead of 550, and a 90 degree turn instead of a complete 360 degree turn. For those that aren't familiar, 
MER is essentially a measure of how much speed an altitude your aircraft loses when turning. Check out the video in the top right corner for more information regarding MER. The aircraft are ordered in descending order for the most energy conserved. The Kika conserves 92.3% of its energy after a 90 degree turn, followed by the Meteor, the F-80, and then the ME262 close behind. So to recap, here are the rankings for each of the five performance metrics. The Kika and the F-80 find themselves near the top of the rankings, while the ME262 is in the bottom half of every ranking. It's an easy decision to put the Kika up to 7.0 BR, I'd say it's as good as the F-80. The ME262 does lag behind its opponents in most respects, but they are still reasonably close in performance. With the information in this video, you'll be in a position to know what your options are when faced with these enemies in the starter jet BR. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of video, and let me know what aircraft you'd like to see in the next Battle of the Graphs. Stay useful.